Tamakas are typically found in coastal waters of the Gulf of St. Lawrence and the St. Lawrence River. These fish are also found in brackish and fresh waters, living in temperatures no higher than 26 degrees Celsius, with a depth range of 0 to 69 meters. As for breeding, females tend to reproduce up to 6,000 to 30,000 eggs, hatching them around 24 to 30 days within temperatures of 4 to 6 degrees Celsius. The diet of the tomacot is small, mainly eating shrimp, amphipods, and small mollusks, but bass and larger fish tend to eat these tomacods as well as humans. The Atlantic tomcod and the Hudson River have adapted to PCPs. PCP, otherwise known as polychlorinated biphenyl, were dumped into the Hudson River by General Electric in 1947 and 1976. All vertebrates receptors called aryl hydrocarbon receptors, or otherwise known as AHRs, they are found in the cytoplasm of cells. The toxic effects occurs when PCPs diffuse into the cells and are combined with AHRs, where they are then taken to the nucleus of the cell, causing unwanted genes to turn on. The Atlantic tomcod have a six-pair deletion, which causes it to be two amino acids shorter than regular receptors. This causes the AHRs and the Atlantic tomcod to not combine with the other PCPs, so the PCPs do not affect the, the Atlantic tomcod all that much compared to the other fish in the river. Scientists found that 99% of the tomcod in this river had been affected by a mutation that supported their resistance to the toxin. This mutation was only found in 10% of tomcods from other waters. They evolved resistance like any other evolving animal through natural selection. When most fish embryos are exposed to the toxins, they develop small hearts that don't beat normally, which causes them many other problems, including death. However, the tomcod survived just fine with very high levels of polychlorinated biphenyls. In 2011, scientists discovered how this mutation resists the PCB. When PCBs fuse into cells, they bind to the AHR protein and are carried into the nucleus of the cell. In the nucleus, the receptor and toxin attach to the cell's DNA and turn on genes that shouldn't be activated. This pathway is responsible for the PCB's toxic effects. This pathway is blocked in the Hudson River tomcod because of a mutation in the gene that codes for AHR. Humans impact many ecosystems in many ways. Since the tomcod lives in the Hudson River, there are many humans that could have an effect on them. First and foremost, there is the pollution to the river from New York City. Humans polluted the river for over 30 years with over 1 million pounds of pollutants until dumping was banned in 1979. Another human impact on the Hudson River ecosystem is fishing. People fish in the Hudson River every day. It is without a shadow of a doubt that humans successfully hook at least one tomcod each day, which affects the population of the river. Because of the large impact humans have on the Hudson River due to pollution, the Atlantic tomcod will continue to evolve. The fish may run into a new toxin and many may die. Those that live, however, will have offspring that will not be affected by the new toxin and evolution will occur. In addition to this, they may also evolve to be unable to live without PCBs due to an added benefit from one of their adaptations.